have made it to Turkey. Ooh, that is beautiful. And it was probably 700 plus police officers with paintball guns, machine guns, gas masks, tear guns. Is everything, is everything okay? okay? No. no. Should we go back? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm not to run. Yeah, America. Trump, I love you. There are certain unique things that are controversial among all foreign travelers while traveling Turkey. Flashback to when I traveled Turkey for the first time, I found many things that were incredibly shocking and I wanted to share my first impressions with you. Because of the unfortunate impressions I had of the Turkish people due to my job in the military, I didn't know what to expect. But as soon as I arrived in Turkey, I fell in love with not only the people, but the place. And I immediately regretted allowing anybody to depict my thoughts and impressions. Turkish people are not like anybody I've encountered throughout all of my travels. Yeah, America. Trump, I love you, Trump. They are different and unique, and I really love the cultural differences. People in Turkey are more than just Turkish people. Turkey is made up of more than 85 million people. Out of the 85 million people, you have over 2.9% immigrants, which is 3% of the total population of the country. When I speak about the people in Turkey, I speak about everybody I encountered. I mean, come on. Turkish people are more fun to be around. Their natural culture and behavior compared to some others is very vibrant and lively. I found it super easy to connect with Turkish people and establish meaningful relationships. There must be something between us that just like clicks. Everywhere we went, we were connecting with locals all over. Nothing but smiles and happy people across all of us. See you, buddy. The people are so friendly. Every place we've gone, everybody's waving, high-fiving telling us uh, good day peace be with you just feeding us like incredible oh foods it's so amazing to be walking around the city and even when the city's a little slow right now because of the rough times going out and exploring and helping the locals is really what it's all about so i'm having so much fun today and making the most out of this really poor weather. Don't take this the wrong way, but I didn't expect Turkish people to have such a European look versus an Arabic look. They also nearly have the same body language as everybody in the US. The friendliness and the hospitality of the Turks. Even when I was alone with little to no knowledge on the language, traveling bright and early before the sun rose, the Turkish people made me feel so welcome. All right, so it was a little bit difficult, but the cops are super friendly. I actually think that was not police i think that was military but they were super friendly he's like you want to see the prayer he said actually attack some mosque the prayer will go off but you can't see it but if you walk 500 meters past sophie tell that you'll be able to see the prayer so uh i'm gonna listen to him i'm gonna walk 500 meters past and see if i can find it they always made me feel like a guest without expecting anything in return from giving great advice and helpful tips from the turkish army to the locals that are just feeding you with their hands on the street sides just so you can taste right, their Turkish food. I mean, coming up in the series, you'll see I almost went to Turkish jail. I'm not gonna run. I know, I know. We'll get to that in a little bit. But a Turkish man spent his afternoon with me just name, so I felt comfortable right. being my translator. This man saw that I was in trouble and translated the entire time for me. So that was like two and a half hours. I'm just extremely thankful for him. Although a lot of them are very, very friendly, you do have to be careful just like everywhere else in the world about certain individual things that could put you in a bad situation to say the least. One thing I would suggest is watch out for the Turkish shoe shiners. Now the guy that actually shined my shoes was super nice and he did kind of loop me into a shoe shining when I didn't really want one. But there was one specific time when we were walking to the camera shop, we noticed the Turkish shoe shiner drop something on the ground. Later, after, you know, giving him that piece back and then not allowing him to shine my shoes and doing some research, I came to find out that that is actually a very common scam that they try and rope you into allowing them to shine their shoes, saying that they're not gonna want anything in return and then expecting you to pay. Now this is one of those kind of scams that is everywhere in the world, but it just so happened to be very vibrant and noticeable here. Now that guy didn't get us but the guy at the Galata Tower was super friendly and he did end up getting us to get our shoes shine, saying that he was just offering it. 
and then expecting us to pay, which is completely fine. They didn't even want them done. Like he's like, no, you have to, you have to. And he grabbed my arm and pulled me and put my foot on there. But he's like, two babies, university, so we're gonna help him out. So I'm getting my shoes clean here and help you out. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Very, very nice guy outside Galat Tower. Yeah, Super man, friendly. Right? Now we all know Turkey is shopping heaven. And honestly, especially when you're in Istanbul, you have you have to shop. It's just something you really, really have to do. But not all things are as they seem. How much is Tommy Hilfiger? Tommy Hilfiger. For you, 75 lira. 75 lira. Yeah. And for me? 70. <laughs> no, no, 70 also for you. <laughs> what do you do? You got a cheaper price. Is it because I'm white? <laughs> People will tell you that they are authentic, that they are real that they look real, they taste real, they smell real, and they even feel real. But not all things are as they seem, especially when you're dealing with certain things like Gucci products, or Cartier bracelets, or the cologne bottles. I had seen people selling fake cologne in the stores, but the gentleman that was selling the cologne bottles was actually had the duty-free stickers on them. Now, you can open the box, you can look at them, you can see that the duty-free stickers on them and they even look and smell very real. But know that they are not real. Now let's talk about the food. You can't go to Turkey and not love the food. Coming from the US, where our only dish is the cheeseburger. I had no idea they had such deep, elaborate culinary tradition. To experience it all, you not only need a lot of time and a lot of money, but you're going to need a gym membership afterwards because I feel like I ate probably seven times a day. Believe me, it will be worth it. I'm talking about a once in a lifetime rich culinary experience. The food is broken down by region, the Mediterranean region, the Black Sea region, the Southeastern region. Now one thing all of Turkey has in common is its love for food. From the endless street food options, no really endless options, especially when everything is open outside COVID. The love for sweets. You can find Turkish sweets and coffee everywhere. Alleyways, markets, street vendors, and even high-end establishments. You're sure to be able to kick all of those cravings for sweets. I mean, come on, it's more than just coffee, it's your future. If a big chunk of grounds falls on the saucer, it means that any of your troubles will soon disappear. If the fallen grounds form a pile, it means money will come your way. Now, having your fortune read by a cup of coffee may not uncover your purpose. But if you're looking to do that, you can take the Skillshare class. Seven exercises to uncover your purpose, passion, path. I love how she makes you rethink success and really gives you tips to help discover your own ways. Now, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes and I've been taking different classes, honestly, for the last year now. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in the creativity. At a time when so many important conversations are happening in the world, your voice is more essential than ever. Unlock creativity for social good. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. For the first thousand people that click the link in the description box below, will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. And after that, it's only $10 a month. Now I sure didn't get all the same knowledge from my cups of coffee as I did that Skillshare class, but I sure did try. I was drinking about three to four cups of coffee in a single day, and that's not very common for me, so let's just say it was quite difficult to sleep at the end of the night. Now, if you've ever researched Turkish food, you know that Turkish breakfast is more than just breakfast. It's a way of life. Like, literally, it's a way of life. They generally go through about eight pots of tea and coffee in the morning before they even finish their breakfast. And it has all of the essentials. So you have a full filling breakfast to help even the worst morning person have the best day. Now you can't go to Turkey and not research the weather. How do you know what to pack? Well, for me, I pack as much as I can for almost every single climate situation, just in case you run into something you didn't expect. Turkey is fairly large country with a mild climate zone. So the east to the west and south to the north, weather is completely different, especially in the spring 
winter, and fall. Weather changes day to day. One day you could be in short sleeves, the next day you could be overlooking the mosque in Istanbul and it could be snowing. So make sure you pick the right time and the right region to visit for your desired weather needs on your trip. Now safety, safety is something everybody needs to research and know prior to visiting a specific location in the world. The US was attacked, Paris was attacked many times. And honestly, if you see people traveling the US and Paris still, and they seem to think that Turkey is dangerous, that's extremely hypocritical. I won't go into too much detail on safety because I will be doing a full video on this later in the series. If I were to say, Turkey is safe. I actually felt extremely safe. I mean, I walk around with all of this camera gear and I was walking around the center of Istanbul and all over Istanbul before the sun even rose. The military presence and police presence here makes you feel extremely safe and they're there to help you anytime you need. I will say one thing, whenever you're traveling in the cities or anywhere in the world, always be aware of your surroundings because you never know what could happen. Most people are targeted because they aren't aware of the things that are happening around them. Now let's talk about culture. Turkish culture is one of the most vibrant and rich and people who visit Turkey generally fall in love with many aspects of it. The most significant element of the Turkish culture can be seen in Turkish architecture, coffee, calligraphy, music, and Turkish history. When you travel certain places throughout the world like Thailand and other places, you can see that tourism kind of pushes the culture to the side. But when you travel Turkey, that doesn't seem to be an issue at all. The culture is so vibrant and so beautiful and it can be seen around every corner. But can we really leave this video without talking about the cats? I don't know what it is in Turkey but some, somehow the cats are important. There's cats everywhere in Turkey, in the mosques, in the markets, underground, in the ferries, and even in the airport. They were all colors, all sizes. If you'd like to take a photo of only cats in Istanbul, you could gather a huge photo album of just the cats. I mean, Chris took probably a terabyte of cat photos. No, that's kind of an exaggeration, but he did take a lot of cat photos. Now, these are just my first impressions while traveling Turkey, and you may have your own. So please let me know your thoughts and your experiences you had while traveling Turkey, and leave it in the comments below so we can share it with the rest of the community.